Here we go, patron. So, this one, the next demo, patron, is a simulation city builder colony sim. Perfect, right? It's by Overseer Games, and it's coming out in the third quarter this year. It looks a bit medieval. I'm not sure if it actually is, but let's just dive in. Patron. Our town is going to be... It's not going to be uh, Jamestown. It's going to be to town Kiri. And the banner... Hi, Enya. <gasps> Slytherin. We're going to pick the Slytherin banner. Perfect. <laughs> Mediterranean. Peaceful, almost Mediterranean, Mediterranean looking island with a lot of fertile soil scarred with bays and coves. It's surely a place your people will be proud to call home. Fertility high, all riches, hu richness high and weather is temperate. Or oh, there's the Pine Ridge, the Twin Islands, the Summit, the Reef, Islands of Plenty, Oasis, the Delta, Islands, Fjords of Iron, Archipelago, North Peak, Volcano. Okay, there's lots of maps already. I want to I wanna go to the Valley of Plenty. Islands of Plenty, of course. Oh, I can't. Never mind. It's not available in the demo. In the demo, we can only pick the Mediterranean. Oh. Oh. Thank you, Tab. Yeah, I knew it was weird, but I can't pronounce it, so that's okay. Okay. Yeah, in Europe, it's really hot currently. It sucks. Really sucks. Enya is the only person on this planet enjoying this right now. Preset. Normal. It's fine. Yes. We'll, we'll just go with normal. I don't care. Starting mark. No, I do care. January. We're going to start in January and probably die immediately because cold, right? It's getting way too hot. Yes. Ha. Ah, what can you do? So yeah, this looks, this looks lovely. Yes, it's snowing and winter and space pauses the game. Perfect. Welcome to Patron. This short tutorial will guide you through the basic concepts of building your new city, setting up efficient production chains and governing your people. Let's get started. Yes, it's January, the first year, winter, it's minus four Celsius. So that's a great starting, starting point. <laughs> we have money, tools, I would assume. Yes. This is stone, iron, food, lumber, firewood, coal. What is this? We have six adults, uh, ten adults, six young, three children, five families. Three influence points. They can be used to enact decrease. And happiness overall is 83. Okay. So I have trouble with a mouse cursor. I can already tell you that because in the settings you can change the mouse sensitivity. And it was just crazy fast, so I turned it down. But still, like the mouse seems to be very inaccurate, and I don't, I don't, I don't know why. So it's it's difficult to just you know click on something precisely. But yeah, that 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 is that. Yeah, I don't I don't like banished, so I hope it's not like that. The mouse looks wobbly. Yeah, because it's it's just weird. Anyway, I can move around with Worcester. We can press and hold Oga, oh the right mouse button, which is super, super fast. Okay. We can zoom out. Completely zoomed out. I love how we have snow in the Mediterranean. <laughs> I rotate the camera with Q and E. Okay, good. What else? To interact, click off. Oh, you know, left mouse button. Sure. Decrease. This is the townhouse. We have an advisor. We off to a very good start, sire. <laughs> Everything looks in order. The people have food, food, firewood, and are content. Good work indeed. I haven't done anything. I just paused the game. But yeah, good. No, I don't like Banished. I'm like the only person on this planet not liking Banished. Your citizens are in desperate need of housing. Citizens who have a place to live in are happier and will pay taxes. Only one family can occupy a single house. And if they have room and are at least content in your town, they will have children. Build five tents or houses to provide some initial housing. Good. Good. We can we can do this. Simcopter, hello. 
Nothing is free, did you know? While things don't necessarily cost coins, they do require some other resource. Mark some trees for gathering. Your workers will cut them down and carry the lumber to your stockpile. When you select the gather trees control, left click and drag the mouse to select the wide area to clear the trees. Thank you. I got something. <laughs> oh, cute. I mean, I can go to vaccination center, but they're going to turn me away and say it's not your time yet. That's all right. Mystery has an appointment, though. Mystery get the, is getting the vaccine next Saturday. Yeah, you know, frustration snacking. You know the feeling when you get a call and it causes a mini panic attack because social anxiety? Yes, yes, I'm actually shaking right now. I feel you. I feel I hate phone calls. They stress me out so much. Thank you, Enya. You ended up getting your first one. Oh, that's so great. I'm glad you did. I just... I lost... I lost hope. I probably won't get it. I don't know. If, if I get it in summer, still I'm lucky. Emails are so much better, yes. I'm very happy for you, Cookie. Right, because it's that easy, Todd. <laughs> Alright, so sorry about that. Just quickly finishing. Right then. Nothing is free. We need to collect resources. We're going to do that. Or not. Making efficient production chains. Chains rests on having valuable data. One key element in this are grid overlays. Cycle through the overlays by clicking on the grid button in the top right menu G. Okay. This will display useful information on soil fertility, ore richness and buildable land. Don't do what it just like let me let me play this. So what's this now? Game status window, job boards, research, town hall, additional panels, view. Is it view? Okay. All grid. Oh, it does say that. So this is the build grid, the soil fertility, and the all grid. Okay. Good. Why not? I'm very happy for everybody who's getting the vaccine. One day. <laughs> One day I'll get it too. Housing, right. So if I just click the, all of this away, nothing's gonna happen. So I have so many things to do already and they don't put it in the quest list. So let's just get houses first. I do have lumber. They told me to get five, I think. I can rotate with R, which is good. We'll get the, the houses behind the town hall. This is the entrance, okay. We're gonna leave a bit of space here because I don't I don't really know how this works yet. I don't know if we need rows, but it doesn't look like it. Oh, and then we're gonna get this one. Okay, five houses. Good. Then you told me to cut down resources. Gather all resources. Yes. Who's gonna mine this? Yeah, sure. Okay, among the basic needs of your citizens, food is your number one priority. Build a gatherer. Gatherer's shelter. I'm sitting in front of this, am I not? Let me move. You didn't say anything. What's this? Oh, it just says alpha build. Okay, so I can I can move to the left. I live here now. Okay. Almost there. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. It's just, it's just, yeah. It's fine. I'll, I'll get there. I'll get there. The gatherer shelter. Uh, the gatherer. No, it is a gatherer shelter. That's a weird thing. Town building, farms, production buildings. 
Herbalist, Sawmill, Forester, Hunting Lodge, Gatherer's Shelter. Okay, this is nice. It shows you the work efficiency and can actually be over 100%. Like here, 103. Sounds perfect. Okay, I found pause. People go do your thing. I'm not sure if there's a job product uh, job job board. Yes, there is. Currently they're all workers. And super slow. Like super super slow. This is one time speed. Housing shortage, I am aware. Alright, so we'll assign different jobs then. Okay, I want someone to be a carrier. That's that's it. Oh, maybe those are the kids. Never mind. Nobody has anything, any anywhere to live. Ah, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Googie. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's it. City guesser. Hi, Mr. Late. Hello. What was that? Okay, because I, I was lurking earlier and then uh, I saw that was a video playing you had to guess. Is that city guesser? You see a video of someone walking through a city and then you have to guess the city? Pretty cool. No firewood in stock. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? In winter when it's super cold. We're gonna die soon. That's okay. At least we have houses now, but everybody's cold. How do I get firewood? Hunting lot. A forester. Produces lumber. A sawmill. A sawmill produces firewood. Okay, I'll get you. See, I don't, I don't know where the entrance is. Yeah. They should have like a teeny tiny indicator, like an arrow, showing where the entrance is. That would make it easier. Ah, oh, yeah, winter's here. Winter's here. Most buildings require workers to operate. In this case, the gatherer's shelter requires gatherers to actually go out and collect various fruit and mushrooms. Yes. Okay, I already know how this works because I've just done it. Gatherers. Perfect. But you can only assign them People, once the building... How much faith do you have in the human race? Me. I look both ways and around about. <laughs> um, only after the building has been built can you assign the workers then. The snow make, is making me slightly motion sick, unfortunately. And Yox, thank you very much for the six months. Half a year already. Welcome back. I appreciate your support. Thank you. Enjoy the emotes. This is a demo, so it's neither. It's an alpha build of a demo. Because currently, it started yesterday. For a couple days, it's the Steam Next Fest, where you can try lots and lots of indie games, like lots and lots of demos of indie games. It's like some mark demo, if you're interested in this one, it's called Patron. And you can play it as well. It's a demo. The king sends his regards. Sire, the king has sent over a ship full of goods for our fair city. He's clearly pleased with us. Most excellent. Please notify the king that we accept the gift. Lumber 34. Of course. Of course I take that. So we need to get this done quickly. Um, because then we need to make firewood, because currently we're just freezing, so that's bad. If I click off on one of you... Okay, I can't. Well, that's alright. Overly long transport routes can cause serious problems. Build a depot to create a new drop-off and pick-up point, as well as to expand your stockpile maximum size. A depot. I can build a depot easily. But I want to wait for this to be done. So yeah, I need an indicator saying where the entrance is. Because once you have a building selected and it's on your mouse cursor, it kind of hides the front. So you can't really, you can't be sure where the building is and where it is in. Uh, where the entrance is and where it is in. All right, I'll put the depot right there next to the sawmill. Now we get a woodcutter. There you go, we get a woodcutter. Patron is all about production chains. Chains, I can't say that word today. Which means transporting resources between various buildings is essential. To make it easier for your workers and carriers to do this, place some roads and connect your buildings. It is not required, but it will make them go faster. 
Yo, faster is good. Farms. Beautification. Roads and bridges. Dead road. It's free. Also, there are signposts. Road sign. It helps your citizens find their way quicker. They move 5% faster while near the road sign. This, I like this. This is the first game that has this that I played. So it might not be entirely the first game, but this is really cool. Okay, we're going to place the roads. It seems like, you know, they're placed instantaneously. It doesn't seem like I actually have to build them. Works for me. All right, someone please... Can I move this? Yes. We have one person working here. That's the upkeep production. Okay. Upgrades. Expansion. It costs money and stone. I don't I don't think I should do this now. Although then two people can work here. I will do it. Increase number of citizens working here. Okay, so I don't have to go to the job panel. I can do this from here as well. Very good. We have firewood! Woohoo! Ah, oh, alright. We're fine. We're not gonna die now. We're, we, are, we, we will survive the winter. Good then. Hello, Aztec. Everything's well, yes. How about you? Road signs everywhere. It does sound like it, right? We need road, sign, road signs. Not currently, because currently we're not really getting any more wood. But eventually, yes. Hello, Alex. Good morning. Happy Thursday. How are you? Hi, Michelle. Welcome in. Hope, hope you're good today. Winter is coming and your invul invaluable citizens will want to keep warm. They do this by burning firewood or coal. For starters, let's ensure they have a decent supply of firewood. Build a sawmill to create firewood from lumber. Make sure you have enough lumber and don't forget to sign a woodcutter. <laughs> Already done that, of course, because we started in winter. So winter is here. But I do need a, a woodcutter first. Reduction. Hunting lodge. Forest is hot. Plants and cuts down. Yes. Cuts cuts down trees and stuff. Um. I'm going to put this next to the gatherer. Very good. Berries and mushrooms aren't enough to keep your citizens fed, happy and healthy. They need more variety. Build a hunting lodge and assign workers. Yes. Bear in mind that hunters use lumber and iron to create traps and arrows. They can't hunt properly without those. You can get the iron, much like lumber, directly in the world. I can. I can. Okay. Road signs give you cultures vibes. I haven't played, like, I haven't played any game that has road signs that actually make you faster, not decoration. When you take care of the basic necessities, you'll want to expand, grow, and advance. Take a look at the various research projects you can undertake. Research costs resources and takes time, but it is well worth it. Yes, let me just first... get a hunting lodge. Because we need this here as well. Maybe one tile to the left so you can still walk here. And then we get a road in there. So that you walk faster. The snow is gone. Also, those are trees. Did you... Something I don't particularly like is that... When you build a road, you don't really know where you are. I mean, yes, you are on the... the like the point of the mouse cursor but it would be nice to see a preview of where you are okay so we're building this we need to gather gather all resources that iron here i'm not sure if this is stone or iron but go ahead get, get this i suppose research let's have a look the quarry fisherman's huts Ooh, i like that You're right, it was super quick. I mean, I'm playing on a high speed, but it's April already. Wow. Well, on, on five speed, it's going really fast now. 
People changing the road signs. That would be so horrible. That'd be so, so horrible. I think it follows. Hello, hello. Fisherman's hot. Okay. Sounds good. The quarry is for extracting stone. But we can find stone just lying around. So that's happening. If your town is running smoothly, you can afford the speed speed up time somewhat. Yeah, I've, I've done that already. Actually, there's more. 10 times speed as well. Five is enough. You now have the basics of governing your quaint little community. Take care of your citizens and your town will prosper. Ignore the pleas and you can expect trouble. Good luck, patron. Research done. Sweet. And this is the number of free workers is low. Transporting resources. Okay. Free up some citizens to have more workers. Uh, or, you know, they could just procreate. Yeah, I don't have any... Any workers. How much food do we have? We have a decent amount of food, I'd say. I still don't have any foresters. But then that hasn't been built yet, so... I suppose having only one woodcutter for now is okay. We need more people. So we'll speed this up again. I also don't really like the rain animation. It, it makes me dizzy. Oh god. And I can't, you can't change the camera, the camera tilt, the camera angle. Does the Winter Brutality compare to Banished? I don't know, I don't like Banished. I haven't played it much, but I just started in winter and we survived, so... I don't know, if, if you've played Colony Sims already, City Builders, I feel like you should be fine. Sire, the king has sent over a ship full of goods for, your, for our fair city. He's clearly pleased with us. 50 coal? Look at the king being all generous. I'm not sure what we are doing for the king, but okay. Hi, Jay Popper. Yes, a new game. So today is all about playing the demos. Some of the demos that are available on the Steam Next Fest. And now the demos are here. Carry will face many challenges. Backseat gaming carry difficulty. This is the case of which I'm certain. The games may not be full. Carry will build towns and maybe highways and more much more than this. Carry did it your way. Thank you very much, Stefan, for the 300 bits. And yeah, you are so right. I had to deal with backseating already in the previous game. <laughs> Thank you, appreciate it. This is this is quite nice. So far, at least. We've learned the basics. I don't have enough people, so hopefully they, you know, make babies quick or grow older. I actually don't know. But currently I have too many buildings and not enough people. So let's have one less gatherer, get the forester. But even even after that, I can't get a hunter. Well, we need more people. Five adults, one young. Oh, you know why? Did I say I survived winter? Like half of our population died in winter. You just don't get a notification about this. Right. Happiness is still 86 though. Yeah, we kind of we kinda, we had ten adults and six young, I think, a couple children as well. They just all died. Starting in winter is not a good idea. Just you know, in case you were wondering. That's that's all right. <clears throat> that's fine. We additional panels. What's this? Annual. Oh, it's not available in the demo. Stock is. Town Hall Decrees. I don't have enough influence to decree anything. But there are government, economy, production and social decrees. That give you money per year. I like this. Okay, then this is research. All right. Health is 100%, you know, for those who survived are very... <laughs> are very healthy. Okay, yeah, well, that happens. So, 
No, no, apparently. So the tutorial said that the only way to get more people is to have a family living in a house. And once they're happy, they will have children. That's, that's about it. It's all right. Hello, Index Gnome. Hello, hello. <laughs> yeah, I have, I have that too, Space Ghost. Either you're healthy or dead. No, it actually, it's at 100, so you can also be like, you know, half healthy, I suppose. The laggy way they walk. Wait, let's get, let's go to one time speed. Yeah, they are a bit mechanical looking. But then, you know, this is a demo, right? The, the only thing I do now is just speed up a lot and wait for them to get children. Residence one, zero, two, four. Okay. So you could, you could potentially a sunken ship. A ship has sunk off the coast of our fair city. We should send a search party and see what they can find. Organize a search and rescue party. Focus on helping any survivors. Three adults, five children, immigration 25. Send a party and search. Oh, okay. So this is a bit unclear. I thought that was still part of the message, but this is what I can decide now. So either we're going to organize a search party and search and rescue party. Focus on helping any survivors. Or we send a party and search for any goods floating around. The town needs anything we can retrieve. We, we definitely need the people. We so need the people. Ah, all right, we have people again. Ah, perfect. Perfect, we need more houses. Oh, that was great. I feel like this, this might become the first city build builder where I'm not stressing out about um, making it super compact because you, you have a grid. But you don't really have to build on the grid, you know? Yeah, when you speed up, it's a bit, it's a bit funny. Okay, job's board. Another woodcutter. Another gatherer. A hunter. Oops. Escape doesn't close windows. Just in case you were wondering. The forester. Yeah, you do your thing here. There's the hunter. Oh, I don't have iron. I need to get iron from somewhere. Okay, there's nothing to tr extract here anymore. You get this. Research. The mine. Coal and iron mines. Okay, so we need to research the quarry, which is going to be done super, super quickly. Nice. I like this so far, though. It's it's quite nice. I don't like the, the rain and the snow animation, by the way. It's winter again. Because that that just makes me dizzy and gives me a headache. Research done. Okay, next up. But you also can't turn it off. At least I think you can't. Controls general. Pins tutorial. Mouse sensitivity. video not really okay no so you can't you can't turn this off which is sad but all right my problem with this is that you you basically god you're looking down at your village and then it's it's just i don't know it's it's like i'm falling into the monitor kind of thing it's a bit weird. I know it's weird, but still. Town buildings. The harbor. Enables trading with the mainland. Oh, I want this. Right next to the river. All right, we're going to get a harbor. We can't build farms yet. The fisherman's heart, but we don't have enough people. Iron mine. Efficiency depends on the all richness of the ground. Okay, 
all richness. So that'd be a 66% here. Efficiency. I'd say it's good enough for now. Although... We're going to build it here and then have a, have a path go through. Demolish. So we need a path. Going this way. Great! This is looking great. I hope they don't need houses where they live, but I could make another depot over there, I suppose. Good then. I'm sorry, Nesto. I'm sorry I made you dizzy as well. It's, yeah. I'm very... I'm very uh, perceptible when it comes to those things. Simulation sickness. Oh yeah, I, I always notice. But then I, I feel the need to actually mention it because there might be game developers here in chat or there might be actually developers of this game in chat and then, you know, they might add a setting to disable that, which would be super, super helpful. We are working on this. Okay, we need a road sign. We need a road sign here to make them faster and then we need a road sign here to make them faster. There in the middle. Over here. Over there. <laughs> I love it. And then we can get another depot. What's this actually? A shelter. But when it's getting too crowded, we're not there yet. Once again, I don't know where... Okay, here. Depot. Sweet! Hey, Spotman! Hello again! How are you feeling today? Are you better? Yes, you can upgrade buildings. So I already upgraded our sawmill. You have these upgrades here and they cost coins or, or coins and materials. So we already got expansion one. So that two people can work here because I needed firewood really, really quickly. But currently we're okay with one. I don't have any food. Um, oops. Yeah, that's that's bad. Let's get a fisherman. We need we need this. I'm building a lot. I'm not sure. So it seems like I can't prioritize anything, which is unfortunate. I ran out of food in our second second winter. Everybody's starving again. Oh no. I mean, we're making food, but it's probably just not quick enough, you know. Oops. We'll be fine. Spam road signs? I, I am spamming road signs already. So what they do is they increase the movement speed by 5% in a radius. In a small radius, but still. I'm glad you're doing good. That's great. I'm having a good day, thank you. It seems it's a good simulation if it makes you sick. No, because I don't get sick from snow and rain IRL. I don't think that's good. Road to dock. I can make a road, but yeah. So people are already dying again. You don't get a notification for that, which is a bit odd. Unrest, Saya. We're receiving word of civil unrest on the mainland. The people there are rioting. Should we ignore it or interfere? Send whatever we can afford to the king. We remain loyal. Interesting. Keep quiet about it, but prepare everything to accommodate incoming refugees. Ah. We would lose 25 loyalty. But I kind of... Nah, the king has been nice to us so far. We're going to send stuff over. Oh yeah, please. Please focus building this. Yes! All right. Fisherman. Let's go. Perfect. Please, we need food. I have the game paused. <laughs> Nothing's gonna happen if I have the game paused. Ah, hello, Dragon of Frost. How are you? Ah, lovely. 
Tiny Matic Yeti. Uh, questions about my name. So that you don't usually play 3D games. Okay, yes. Yes. Yeah. No, no, no. It's not that I don't like it. I, I have simulation sickness. So if I play first person games, it makes me nauseous. I get a headache. Uh, I start shaking, sweating. My heart rate spikes up. I feel ill. Like I'm about to vomit ill. So I'm physically incapable of playing first person games. Which is sad because I would love to, but I can't. I can play 3D games, but I can play those games that are like this, top down, stable camera, slow. It fits 3D games like a third person character. So Skyrim, The Witcher, any anything where the camera is too close to the character then I can't play it because then it makes me sick. So that's that. It does look good, right? You were hoping Endzone would scratch your city build itch. It's not as enjoyable as you'd hoped. Uh, so this is more focused on production chains, chains here. So you might like that. It is somewhat a survival book game, but not as hardcore as Endzone. Hi Lion Dyke, how are you today? But you're welcome, you're welcome. If you have any more questions, Yeti or anybody else, feel free to ask. Happy to explain it. No, that's okay, that's okay. Not enough workers. Yeah, because people are dying. <laughs> oh no, we're starving. We're starving once again. Okay, we don't need a woodcutter currently. We don't need a forester. We need... Well... Food. We need food. They're all dying. Gatherer. 30 nets. Production plus 30%. And then one more worker slot. I don't know if that actually makes any sense. Large baskets. Maybe I, maybe I should have done that earlier. Upkeep. So I can't pay the upkeep for this, apparently. Hopefully that's going to help already. We'll see. I'm not sure. Hi Dylan Sousa. Hello. Welcome, Andre. Hi, hi. I was looking for, you know, food production. But yeah, we do need a miner as well. Hey, Kayas. Kayas, how are you today? They do need food. We're down to seven again. At least you don't get a constant notification of, you know, this person died, this person died, this... All right, we're making food again, but we just, we just don't have enough. We have enough firewood for winter, though, so that's something at least. Cake, right? Yes. Oh yeah, I've I've several to to Selenia. How are you? Yeah, I also put in my wish list. Or well, I I don't know if if I haven't already, I will afterwards. Unconquered. Hi. I know the sun is trying to kill us too. That sucks. But yeah, you know summer. What can you do? I can't get out of the game. I'm gonna look at this later. Um. All right. No, we we still have a bit of time. I can keep on playing this for a bit longer. But we have lots of demos to try today. Maybe we'll just have a look at what else we can build. So those are just houses. The docks. I have those now. Farms. Oh wait, maybe maybe research is going to help us. Enacting the policy increases the production in quarries, coal mines, iron mines, forested huts, toolsmiths and brickworks. Not really. Cleared path. Increase herbalist hut efficiency if near forester's hut. <gasps> that'd be that'd be perfect. Okay, that's that's gonna help us. More production. I would assume you can't really gather anything like fruit or stuff in the winter, so that's probably why we starved a bit. <clears throat> but now our fishers and the gatherers are more efficient, so hopefully, hopefully that's gonna work out. We're going to get another woodcutter. Not enough workers. Yes, I'm aware. But I can't really get more. What's this? Click to trade. I can trade. Hmm. 
Oh, I suppose... A bit of lumber. What is the amount to sell? What if we sell 17? How much do I get? I only get 15 for this. Okay. And now we're waiting for a trade ship. For science. So this is how it works. I should have done more and accepted it. But okay, now we're waiting for the trade ship. That's all right. Iron mine. Yeah, I, d I have an iron mine. I just don't have any workers to work it. Hunting Lodge, we have this. We don't have a coal mine yet. Sawmill. We don't have a herbalist hut. We also don't have a quarry. And then beautification, all of this is locked. So we need research for this. That's okay. We have seven people. One children. Uh, so one, one child. But yeah, they procreate rather slowly. There's a fox running through the ocean. Hiding in the building here now. We do have a bit of food again. Yeah, look, look at that fox here, just walking over the water. <laughs> there is no hitbox for this, apparently. <laughs> Thank you, Talenia. I love them too. More like settlers. Yeah, so, so this is more focused on production chains. Um, so I would, I would say a bit more settlers, a bit more uh, anno, actually. But it's more, it's more survival than anno. Because yes, you can, you can die and really quickly. Can I help with the procreation? Well, they, they have houses and they have their happiness is 95 out of 100 so they, there's not much that i can do still except for just wait but i don't want to just play the waiting game here so let's say this is patron new game coming out uh soon tm it's a medieval colony sim city builder simulation game Focusing on production chains. It's fun to play. The UI is, you know, nice, nice to use. There will be lots and lots of maps in the demo. You can only play in one so far. My issue with it is that procreation takes a long time. People keep dying in winter. I don't know why. Um, no, seriously, though, my, my problem is the snow and rain animation because that makes me slightly nauseous. Well, actually, makes me dizzy. It doesn't make me nauseous. It makes me dizzy. Apart from that, uh, I mean, this is looking good. Yeah, like it. I like it. Time to move on to the next game. 